Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. For our second Halloween cocktail, because we've been gone for so long, we wanted to make sure that we did something really cool. And there are a few things cooler in my book than color changing cocktails. So today what we have for you is the Shimmering Phoenix Cocktail. One of the principal ingredients of the Shimmering Phoenix cocktail is the Shimmering Gin. Now it's not that difficult to make, you just need a couple of hours to overnight to prepare your infusion of some butterfly pea flowers. You just need six of them and a cup and a half of gin. Now if you're gonna be making a whole large batch of it for a party, etc., just scale that up. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is cold before you use it in the drink, and at any time, you can just add one quarter of a teaspoon of pearl or white uh, shimmering dust. But be sure that it is edible and non-toxic, because there are ones out there that are basically just glitter, and you do not want to be ingesting that because it's not food. To start, we'll add two ounces of our shimmering blue gin. And now for our color changing element, we have three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and one and a quarter ounce of St. Germain elderflower liqueur. On top of that, we're going to add very carefully a float of just under half an ounce of 151. Give that a light and add a little bit of microplane cinnamon for the Phoenix effect. If you don't have a microplane and a stick of cinnamon, you can always use some regular store bought cinnamon, but just be sure you try and use a little bit of it. A little bit does go a long way. And easy as that, you have the Shimmering Phoenix cocktail. Be sure to cover it to extinguish the flame before you drink it so you don't burn yourself. And to be careful of, depending on how long it has been burning, that the glass is not too hot. Otherwise you will burn your mouth, as I would have if I hadn't waited for that. Mm. This is a very simple and delightful cocktail. It's kind of... Some people might liken it to an elderflower bee's knees without the egg white. It's refreshing and delightful. If you're not using any ice, be sure that your gin is chilled before you make this cocktail, or you could just as easily put this over a little bit of ice. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy, and please continue to remain socially distanced and safe. We love you. Be well.